Well, look, it's Super Mario Brothers 3. Super Mario Brothers, right? Yeah, Mario World. It's so good. Six thirty-three a.m. on a Tuesday. Very early right now. Going to the gym today. Just got to get it done. Feeling pretty good about that gym visit. Great way to start the day. Morning, Matt. Are you going to? Yes, man. Why, really? 8:38. No, I'll meet you there. Yeah, yeah I'm taking my motorized skateboard. <laughs> Matt and I have an early meeting. He's walking there. I'm gonna be taking, I'm gonna be taking the boosted board. I need a helmet for it and I don't have a helmet. All right, last time I wore this helmet, I was having rubber bullets being fired at me in Ferguson, Missouri. But it should keep me safe on the skateboard. I have a quick breakfast meeting at the usual spot, and then I have a meeting uptown. Yo dude, where's your electric skateboard? I'm still eating as healthy as possible. This is a good place for that. Matt gets the Huevos Rancheros. Take care guys. This will be my longest journey on the skateboard, Matt. All right, Matt, I'll see you soon. What's up, guys? How's it going? Hey, I'm Casey. Nice to meet you, Alex. Hello. What's up, dude? Awesome to meet you. Awesome to meet you. Awesome to meet you. Meet you. Give maybe Franny a hug for me. I will give Franny a hug for you. Take care, guys. Now it's time to get to the office. Today's Tuesday. It's Q and A day. Q&A time. Uh. When do you think Beam will be available for Android? I wish I could say days, it's gonna be months. We are working on it right now. Believe me, I want it in the hands of Android users as soon as possible. If there was a way to do it faster, we'd be doing that. Oh, I like this question. If you were president, what would you change? The DMV. Why the DMV isn't completely computerized and seamless is beyond me. That's what I would change if I were president. The Department of Motor Vehicles. Are you planning on making any longer movies than the vlogs in the near future? Not really. I kind of like this whole vlog thing. Uh, I have a couple, like three movies that, not movies, just like pile of footage I've been sitting on for a while that I really want to shape into something, but I kind of lack the bandwidth right now to do that. How do you find all this great music? People send me all the music that I use, and that's no joke. Um, a bunch of really amazing musicians and composers. Gina, Gina, I remember you from our meetup. How is LA, and will we be seeing Francine and Gigi anytime soon? LA was amazing, albeit slightly overwhelming, but a really incredible experience. Franny and Gigi will be back on the vlog. I just like, it's sometimes hard bringing the vlog into my home. I like it, I love seeing it on there, but when I'm home, sometimes I just wanna be home without the camera. So when you don't see Candace or Franny or Gigi, know the reason why is just that, I don't know, I guess I just wanna be 100% present when I'm with the fam. Not always, sometimes I like to share. 
It's weird. What would you do with Donald Trump's hair if it were to fall into your hands? I would go like that and then I would wash my hands. How relieved were you when Beam launched? I wasn't relieved at all. That was like this, after having my kids, the scariest day of my life was launching Beam. Carter wants to know, favorite part about VidCon? Favorite part about VidCon? When I release these movies, I literally just click upload. The next day I'll see like a view count, but it's just a number, it's abstract. And what was so wonderful about VidCon is literally like meeting all the people that actually see my movies, like putting a face to that, getting to shake their hands or give them a hug or take a picture with them. I hope VidCon invites me back in years to come. Shane wants to know, how much do you love Ben Brown? I love Ben Brown so much. Ben is a good friend of mine. If you guys don't know about him, I'll link his vlog below. Go check him out. He's a daily vlogger. He's an adventurer. He's just an awesome guy. He's a dear friend. I, I loved hanging out with him at VidCon. That was like my second favorite part of VidCon. Do you ever get burnt out from doing a vlog every day? Yes, I get burnt out from doing a vlog every day, every day. The pivot or inflection point from that burnout happens every morning when I click upload. And that like, sensation, that sense of accomplishment is so addictive that it drives me through the next day of burnout and then I upload again and this is the virtuous cycle that is daily vlogging. Joanne asks, do you ever sleep in? The truth is no. I post these vlogs every morning at 8 a.m. which precludes me from ever sleeping in. Thus concludes today's Q&A. Uh, I just looked in my monitor here and I'm much darker now than I was at the start of the Q&A. See, this situation here, these are my windows, and when I start Q&A, these windows, like the sun is coming through, and I just finished and the sun is pretty diminished. That's why I'm so much darker now than I was when I started. Walking home. Really wish I was riding the boosted board home. Today was too fast.